Dear students, now we are going to discuss attenuation in optical communication. In general, attenuation represents the loss of signal strength when it is propagating over a communication channel. In optical communication, attenuation represents the loss of light signal as it propagates along a fiber cable. Since it represents the loss, it is an important parameter to determine the maximum transmission distance between the transmitter and the receiver. It is measured in decibels per unit length. In optical communication, the unit length is kilometer. So it is generally measured in decibel per kilometer. Okay. There are three basic attenuation mechanisms in this optical fiber. One is absorption. The next one is scattering losses. The last one is radiating losses. So here absorption, it is directly related to the type of fiber materials. The next one is scattering losses. So here scattering losses are occur due to both fiber materials as well as the structural imperfection in the optical waveguide. So here structural imperfection means in this optical waveguide there may be some dimensional variations or imperfections. So because of that there may be some scattering. Okay. So next one is radiating losses. So these losses are related to the bending of the fiber cable. So it is due to bend of finite radius of curvature. There are two types of bending losses available. One is micro bending. The next one is macro bending losses. Okay. So next we are going to analyze this attenuation parameter with its units. So here we are going to relate the input optical power and the output optical power at some distance. So here the total power loss in an optical fiber is measured in terms of dB that is equal to 10 log base 10 Pi by PO. So here Pi is nothing but input optical power PO is the output optical power. This is general expression okay. As we all know that when the light signal is traveling along a fiber there is a power loss. So that is given here as light travels along a fiber its power decreases exponentially with the distance z. So here in this expression p of 0 is nothing but the optical power at origin z is equal to 0. So here p of z is nothing but the optical power at distance z. Okay. So this power is decreased exponentially with the distance z. You will understand this one. So optical power at distance z is equal to the initial power multiplied with e power minus alpha z. From this we can find out the value of this attenuation. So for that we can move this e power minus alpha z to that side. We can get 1 by e power minus alpha z is equal to p of 0 by p of z. Okay. So 1 by e power minus alpha z is nothing but what? e power plus alpha z. Then we can move this exponential term for that we can take the natural logarithmic on both the sides. We can get alpha z is equal to what? Ln of p of 0 by p of z. So here we can move this z to this side as denominator. Then we can get the attenuation constant per kilometer is equal to 1 by z ln of p of 0 by P of Z. Okay. So that is per kilometer km bar minus 1. Okay. So fiber attenuation or fiber attenuation coefficient is expressed in terms of decibel per kilometer. Alpha in dB per kilometer is equal to 10 by Z log of P of 0 by P of Z. So this value can be written like this 4.343 alpha P. This alpha p is nothing but the attenuation constant per kilometer. Okay. So here major effects of attenuation on the performance of fiber are given here. So reducing the bandwidth, reducing the information capacity, efficiency and overall system performance. Okay. Next attenuation as a function of wavelength. Here we can consider three transmission windows in this wavelength range. The first window is 
short wavelength range the second one is medium wavelength range the third one is long wavelength range okay so in this transmission window the attenuation value is 0.5 at this 1310 nanometer range its value is 0.25 at this 1550 nanometer so these two windows are widely used in many applications so this values are standard single mode fiber values okay so here this is the E band range the optical fibers which are used in this E band range are known as low water peak fibers or full spectrum fibers okay. So this is very important concept in this attenuation as a function of wavelength. So here fiber attenuation value is 0.5 dB per kilometer at 1310 nanometer and 0.25 to 0.3 dB per kilometer at 1550 nanometer for standard single mode fiber okay